so you want to cut and style hair welcome to question entertainment i'm christopher Wollett. and i'm emily mian and today we'll be reviewing adam sandler you don't mess with the zoha here adam sandler plays zohan an israeli assassin who dreams of getting out of the military and moving to America so he can cut hair like Paul Mitchell. After faking his own death, he does get to America, but nobody will take him because he has no formal training. He ends up working for the only salon that will allow him that's run by a Palestinian woman. From here, Adam Sandler essentially gets his big chance and cuts the hair and sleeps with every old lady in the area <laughs> while trying to avoid being found out and being attacked by his enemies, even in America. Yeah, right, right. yeah. sleeps with everybody, <laughs> tries not to be attacked. That's about it. Yes. So how was it? Well, it was no 51st Dates, um, my, the best Adam Sandler movie of all time. There were funny parts. It was gross. I mean, it was inappropriate. And what I noticed about it was that oftentimes Adam Sandler has these movies that are mildly inappropriate and then there's like four or five really out of this world inappropriate parts and you're kind of like, wow, what was that? But then it goes back to normal. And this one was more inappropriate the whole time. There's no little parts you could fast forward through, really, you know, if, <laughs> if you wanted to. Not that I'm a fast forwarder, but you know, if right. you wanted to, you, you really couldn't. The sexuality runs all the way through it. Unlike you. I have never enjoyed an Adam Sandler film, and maybe it's just because, because I missed you that one. Seen 50 first but day. I actually don't like Drew Barrymore either, so. I'm not a big Drew fan either. I'm telling you, it's worth. This movie, I giggled and laughed through the entire thing. This movie would go for straight jokes and also visual comedy. I would put it somewhere in the middle between Airplane and Steve Martin's Roxanne. Does that help anyone? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> I actually believe that him pretending to be Israeli and everybody doing the dialogue with either Israeli or Arab accents made it easier to take. For me, I like him, but I was really surprised because I just thought this is just the dumbest concept. When you see the previews, right. you're like, this is just the dumbest. Like when he beats the guy up on the street with holding his, his pinky. Yes. In the previews, that looks really stupid. In the movie, that's really funny. I thought the pinky part was, but when he starts smacking him with his foot and then makes him smell his toe. Come on, that was funny. See, I didn't like that. And that is what <laughs> I don't Adam like Sandler, about though. him. Yeah. That's Adam Sandler, though. That's Adam Sandler. I absolutely You don't like Adam that. Sandler. And there were just really funny parts. Of, like, one of my favorite parts in the whole movie is when Adam Sandler takes out the Paul Mitchell book he's hiding in his room. Right. Because he doesn't want anyone to know, of course. And he takes out the Paul Mitchell book and he's flipping through the pictures and it's, you know, 19... 80 something, you know, and all the styles are so old and he just thinks it's like his treasure, you know. It's, it's a little bit laughable when you see him pull the Paul Mitchell book out, but when he opens it, it's hysterical. And that's the great thing about it because he is very sensitive with that character. You're laughing because it's ridiculous, but you're also very much connecting with him because you're like, oh, poor well, guy. He, he doesn't get he to really do what he really it. loves. So all in all, this is a well done comedy by Adam Sandler. Was it good for kids? Absolutely not. I think anybody that knows Adam Sandler at all knows that none of Adam Sandler's movies are any good for kids. It's a very, very sexual movie. Sexuality runs through the whole thing. You know, my aunt goes there. She says besides the sex, the guy gives a pretty good haircut. <laughs> Adam Sandler's character does have sex with every female character he meets. Yes. After he gets to America. But even, yeah. you know, the whole opening credits are he's this big stud, yes. he's naked half the time, and all the girls are fawning all over him. Yes. And when he's looking at the Paul Mitchell book, there's an orgy going on in the other room. And even when he decides he loves one certain girl and wants to be committed to her, it's again, it's related back to sexuality. Once he is married and monogamous, he has now taught the guy he was staying with to take over his character, and the once innocent character is now cutting hair and offering sex to old ladies. Yeah. yeah. Which I was, I was really surprised. I, you know, at first he starts washing their hair, and you see he's trying to make them feel all sexy, and it's a little inappropriate, and it's kind of gross. And I, I just didn't, I didn't really think he was going to have sex with all of his clients. Right. Yes. I just didn't think. But you know, that's Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler would cut the people's hair and then be in the back room and the walls were shaking, I 
kept waiting to find out what was going on back That's there. That's exactly how I felt. Oh, we're going to find out he's rubbing their back or right. something like that. Or he can never find the shampoo. So right, he's right, right. Back. But no, no, he was sleeping. He's having with sex every, with them. Yeah. <laughs> he had a sort of innocence about him. Like, yes. like, oh, this is okay, and this is normal. And then at first people would be a little surprised, and then it was like, oh, yeah, that's just the Zohan. And, and also that it was okay because he thought all women were beautiful. Didn't matter right. if they were old or fat or whatever, that it was about all women are beautiful. And so I don't know if we were supposed to think it was sweet that he was sleeping with old ladies. I felt like yes. we were supposed to feel like it was sweet. This do movie does let you know that it's normal just to sleep with every woman you can and that that's not going to affect you in any way. This movie is made for teenagers, and there's nothing good for them here. Mm. If you'd like a complete breakdown of what's on the screen, check screenit.com. What about spiritual issues? This movie deals with the Arab-Israeli conflict, and they never mention spiritual issues throughout the entire film. The entire conflict is just based on... Land land and proximity. No one ever mentions the Quran or the Torah. I realize that Israel is probably much more secular than I will ever imagine it from Bible stories and such. <laughs> but there Israelis living in Israel and nobody mentions God. Like how does he get away with not going to temple? I know and he exactly. He's a pig. He's you know Right. He's, as, they never talk yeah. They never talk about what he can and can't eat. Right. There's nothing. There's no. Yeah, it's a really, it's very weird the way spirituality is totally absent and we're dealing with two people fully divided by their religion. What they really did was they simplified the Palestinian Israeli conflict down to land. Like even when he moves to America, they're like, oh, that's the Palestinian side of the story. Right, yes. And they, they boil it down to almost like a West Side story kind of silly. This is just a silly tiff that we're in over nothing. And maybe that's, yes. maybe that's why it's funny, but that might be also why they don't go into any other heavier issues. They avoid obvious spiritual issues. And then, of course, sex without consequence and love conquers all. Watching this, my big thought was that a lot of uninformed teenagers are going to see this movie and think they understand issues that they really don't. Well. At the end of the movie, they have this song that the two of them can sing together and it will defend them against all their enemies, which that is totally incorrect in taking Muslim mythology very far as if the Muslims existed alongside the creation of the Jewish culture. Because frankly, compared to the Jewish culture, the Muslim religion is very young. Mm -hmm. But I realize it's just a comedy, but they do imply that the two cultures came about at the same time, which is a incorrect Muslim assertion. What's your recommendation? Probably don't bother. Do I think you'll go straight to hell if you watch it? Probably not. <laughs> Even as an adult who can filter out all that extra stuff, it really isn't. I mean, it's not worth it for a laugh. No. I don't find any redeeming qualities in it. I, again, I'm not like, oh no. Oh, there was sexuality through the whole thing. You absolutely cannot see it, but why would you rent it? The movie was funny, but I think that's one of the reasons I would recommend it even less. Thanks for watching. On YouTube, please click subscribe. On our blog, please click the RSS feed. Uh, okay. Christopher, <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Because you say you've never enjoyed anything Adam Sandler has done. What have I seen? Red Hooded Sweatshirt. No, I've never seen The that. Thanksgiving song? I, the Thanksgiving song and the Hanukkah song. I Those are classics. No, I hated them. Christopher. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan, yeah. give or take, and, you know, whatever. I might see a movie he's in, I might not. But. No, I. You have to give him props for Red Hooded Sweatshirt. No. Red Hooded Sweatshirt. <laughs> shirt. No, I'm, I'm gonna. You go to YouTube. YouTube. Red okay, Hooded Sweatshirt. I will. I, I'll, it's great. I'll try it again. I think it was his. Either that or Thanksgiving was his first weird song. Right. On Night See, like I said, I can. I can. You know, I might watch an Adam Sandler movie. I might not. Yeah. And if I watch an Adam Sandler movie, I might be doing my work on the couch. I might not really be paying attention because right. I've seen Billy Madison and I've seen Happy Gilmore, but I don't remember what happens. Right. So I either fell asleep, or whereas my husband, on the other hand, just thinks they're hysterical. I, my